As we, as this male elephant that we with has disappeared behind a bush, but we are with a male elephant on foot. The problem is, is that he's going to be walking inside. And there he is coming into sight now. Whew. Enormous male elephant. There's just something magical about experiencing something that big on foot. And although we're probably about 50 or 60 yards away from that elephant, there's still a very good chance that he smells us. The wind is blowing directly towards him. I've got an ash bag here with some just campfire ash in it. And he's going to be walking into our scent now. So I actually want us to back off where we're going to go. We've got a termite mine behind us. I don't want this elephant to quest us. And quite often what happens is they change direction like they did. He changed direction completely to where I thought he was going to go. And quite often they'll come down the scent towards us, especially if he's in muffs. And what I want to try and do is just get us a bit closer to our point of safety. We're okay here. So now what I'm trying to do is just figure out where this elephant is. He's absolutely walked into where our scent would be blowing. Nine times out of ten, what happens is they walk in the opposite direction. Most animals want to avoid confrontation. I'm just going to have a look here. Ah, come with me. That male elephant couldn't even care. He's just after one thing and one thing only, and that's marulas. Now, Betty, while we're looking at this elephant, I'm going to be pointing out... Uh, the point is to your question on how I know it's a male elephant. Betty, one is the size. So from far away, big elephants are usually male elephants. Secondly, he's on his own. Female elephants are usually with herds. So that's how we would have told from far away. The next thing is his tusks. He's got quite robust tusks. Female elephants' tusks are very unusually that thick. They're about half that diameter. Another pointer from this angle is the fact that those tusks point forward and not at the ground. A male elephant use their tusks to fight with one another and as, as swords basically. And so they have forward facing tusks rather than downward facing tusks. Other pointers would be as he steps forward in a little bit is they have a penal sheath on their belly. Basically where you'd expect a belly button to be. And just his just massive size. You can see that big skull that he has. Now, I expect this bull elephant to be in a condition called must, or must as some people say. So you can say it, it's M-U-S-T-H, must or must. Hey, look at that, shaking that marula tree. Now, just to remind everybody, we are live and we are on foot, 50 yards away from this elephant. We're in a bit of a compromised place in that the wind direction is from us to him. But he doesn't seem to either have picked us up yet, our scent up, or he just doesn't care, which can happen with elephant. Unusual for them not to care, but it can happen with elephant. Now the reason why I haven't moved from where we're standing now into a better wind direction is because our only place of safety is behind us. It's a termite mound. An elevated position and I don't want to go away from that elevated position just yet so we're letting the elephant dictate what he wants to do and we staying close to our safe place obviously one of the biggest things that we try and accomplish out here on foot is to have as little to no impact on the animals we're viewing whatsoever